Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use Wine and Wine Bottler on your Mac operating system. So those of you who don't know what is Wine, Wine is a tool which allows you to run Windows applications on your Mac operating system. Now, what is Wine Bottler? Wine Bottler is a package manager which bundles your Windows application on your Mac operating system. So for installing Wine Bottler, what we are going to do, we are going to just search for Wine Bottler and the first link which will appear here will be uh, this link which is winebottler.cronenberg.org. So we are going to click on this link. You can also see Wine Bottler packages Windows based pro program into uh, Mac app bundles, right? So I'm going to just click on this link. And here on this web page, you will be able to see uh, two uh, versions of Wine Bottler. One is the stable version, which is 1.8.6, and other is the latest development version. So this development version is going to uh, be uh, changing. So what I would recommend is to download the Wine Bottler stable version. So just click on the stable version. And here it says, thank you for downloading Wine Bottler. We show ads to sponsor our software. So when you click on the downloads link, it's going to show you this kind of ad. So you can just uh, cancel this ad and then you don't need to do anything. Just block everything and wait for a few seconds. And once you uh, see this skip ad uh, button, just skip this ad, okay? And then you will be able to see uh, this downloading wine bottler uh, option here. And you can also see this wine bottler DMG file is downloading on my Mac operating system. So once this DMG file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this DMG file and I'm going to minimize my browser. And you will be able to see this kind of uh, window here. So here you will be able to see wine and wine bottler icon. What you need to do, you just need to select both these icons and then just drag these icons into the applications folder. So once you do that, your wine bottler and wine app will be installed on your Mac operating system. So let's just wait for that. So once it's done, uh, you will be able to see in your launch pad, this wine bottler and wine icons, right? So now what you can do here is you can open the wine bottler uh, application. So just click on wine bottler. I'm going to just uh, minimize uh, this. And here it's going to say wine bottler is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, I want to open it. So just click on open. And it's going to open. Let me minimize this also and wine bottler interface is going to look uh, something like this right so you can see uh, there are uh, browsers you can download uh, which are actually uh, windows based browsers so you can see the internet explorer six seven eight uh, safari and then you will be able to see some other applications which uh, runs only on Windows uh, natively, but using this Wine Bottler and Wine, you can install uh, these applications on your Mac operating system. So what uh, I'm going to do is, uh, let's search for this MS Paint. So let's say I want to install this MS Paint application on my Mac operating system. So I'm going to just click on install button here. And here you can choose uh, where you want to install uh, this application. So I'm going to install this application on the desktop. So I'm going to just choose uh, the desktop uh, folder here. And the name of this application you can change also. I'm going to leave it as default, which is MS Paint. And then click on Save. And once this uh, MS Paint app is installed, I will be able to use it on my Mac operating systems. And once you see this message prefix created successfully, I'm going to just click on OK. And then I can minimize this wine bottler. And here I can see this MS Paint icon here. So because I have uh, chosen the location uh, desktop, 
it's going to create this icon on my desktop if you choose the different location for example your documents folder this icon will be uh, visible in your documents folder so i'm going to just uh, click on this ms paint uh, icon here and once i click on ms paint icon it's going to use wine to open ms paint on the mac operating system so this is essentially windows application which is running on my mac operating system right so this is how you can use wine bottler to install uh, the applications now let's say uh, you don't find your application under this wine bottler tool so there are many uh, windows application but let's say you have some exe file which you want to install using this wine bottler right which you cannot find on this wine bottler app so what you can do then is you can just uh, click on advanced uh, option here and you will be able to see this kind of uh, window so if you have the exe file you can select that exe file from here so let's say i want to install notepad plus plus on my mac operating system so notepad plus plus is an application which can only run on the windows operating system so this is the website for that notepad hyphen plus hyphen plus dot org forward slash downloads and from here you can uh, download the latest version of notepad plus plus so i'm going to just click on the latest version and then i'm going to click on the download button so here is the installer so i'm going to click on the installer option so this is the uh, notepad plus uh, plus installer exe file i have downloaded from its website and now i'm going to open the wine bottler application so just leave this prefix template as new prefix and then you can select the executable file which you have downloaded which is uh, notepad plus plus exe file in my case and then i'm going to click on open and then you can also choose system uh, version info i'm going to choose the latest version which is available which is windows 7 here and then uh, i can uh, leave everything as default and then uh, click on install and it's going to install uh, this application uh, and you will be able to use this application on your mac operating system like we have done with the ms paint right now let me show you how uh, you can use actually wine without this uh, wine bottler to install uh, some application so as you can see this is the exe file and once you have installed wine bottler and wine on your mac operating system you can just right click on your exe file so i'm going to just uh, press on control key and then click on my mouse and then i will be able to see this open with option and i will choose a uh, wine here okay so open with wine so it's going to open this kind of window and it's going to say wine can't be opened because the identity of the developer uh, is not confirmed so i'm going to just click on uh, open here which is going to open this kind of a window so here you can see uh, two options one is run directly in uh, wine so the first option is going to run this exe file using wine without wine bottler the second option is to convert this application uh, using the wine bottler bundle like we have done with the uh, ms paint or you can do this with this yellow uh, window which is the advanced window in the wine bottler but let's say i just want to choose the wine application without this wine bottler bundle so i will just choose the first option and then click on go and i can close this also i can close this here and i can close uh, this here and now i can see that this is the notepad plus plus installer so i'm going to just uh, choose english as my language and click on okay and then click on next and then i'm going to click on i agree and here you can uh, choose uh, some uh, location where you want to install the app so if you want to change the location you can choose uh, the browse button here so you can see uh, wine 
is going to show you this kind of interface which looks like windows uh, uh, directory system or folder system so here you can choose uh, the my document option or computer option or uh, the desktop okay so when you choose the desktop you will not be able to uh, see this next button so in my case i'm going to choose my document and, and then click on okay and then click on next and then click on next and you can also create the shortcut uh, but i'm not going to do that and then click on uh, install so once this application will be installed you can uh, just uh, check this checkbox and then click on uh, finish which is going to just launch this application and you can also see where it is installed so see user uh, so this looks like uh, the windows path but actually it's installed in your uh, a Mac operating system. So once you have uh, installed some application using Wine, you will be able to see also this Wine icon here. So if you don't see this Wine icon, you can also go to your launchpad and then click on the, the Wine icon. So if you want to open the application which you have installed using Wine, then just click on this icon and here you will be able to see uh, different options. So you have the file manager option, registry editor, config, control panel, and uh, the other options here. And then click on file manager. And because I have uh, chosen my documents, right? So it will be the actual location, uh, my document uh, maps to the document folder in your uh, uh, Mac operating system. So I'm going to go to the user, then the username and my document here uh, this uh, folder is the same folder with the name documents on your mac operating system right and here you can see uh, notepad plus plus option so i'm going to just click on notepad plus plus option and then you will be able to see this exe file so just click on this exe file and it's going to just uh, show you uh, this kind of app right so this is how you can uh, uh, use wine instead of wine bottler to install applications and open uh, those windows applications on your mac operating system so the convenient way is to use wine bottler but if you want to use uh, wine standalone without wine or bottler it's also possible so this is how you can use wine and bar so this is how you can use wine and wine bottler to install windows applications on your mac operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video